Welcome to Grinnell College Moon Base Station. The station is made possible by a generous gift from Jenny Hazeltine, class of 2517 and a Nobel Prize winner in physics for her work on forced temporal distortion and quantum matter transference. The station is located on the Mare Serenitatis, a large and prominent near-circular feature in the northern part of the Moon's near-side face. The Moon's crust in this region contains a large positive gravitational anomaly that facilitates the folding of time and space, as described in Jenny Hazeltine's theories. We can use this folding to travel to any point in the past, present, or future of our universe. Before we begin with the temporal spatial insertion, we need to test whether your equipment is in proper working order. Pressing the touchpad on your hand controller will activate a straight targeting beam. The beam will appear red if the targeted object cannot be interacted with. The beam will appear green if the targeted object can be interacted with. Pulling the trigger on the underside of the hand controller will perform an action on the targeted object. Use your hand controller and targeting beam to zap the red spheres located in the staging area. Remember that you are in a 360 degree environment and that objects can be located behind you. It appears that your targeting beam is in proper working condition. Let's examine your other hand controller now. Pressing the touchpad on this hand controller will activate a curved transport beam. Releasing the touchpad will transport you to the targeted spot. If you cannot see this beam, lower your arm so that it is pointing towards the floor. The beam will appear red if you cannot move to a targeted spot. The beam will appear green if you can move to a targeted spot. Use the hand controller to transport yourself around the staging area a few times. It appears that your transport beam is in proper working condition. Move now to the temporal spatial displacement chamber to begin the insertion process. Remember to keep your hands and feet in the chamber at all times until the process is completed. Thank you for visiting Grinnell College Moon Base Station and have a great trip. The Uncle Sam Plantation was a historic sugar plantation located near Convent in St. James Parish, Louisiana. Once one of the most intact plantation complexes in the southern United States, the site was raised in 1940 to make room for a river levee. Before this was done, however, the Historic American Building Survey made elevations, floor plans, and photographs of several buildings on the site. The Grinnell College Immersive Experiences Lab will rely on this documentation to create an immersive virtual reality experience that will recreate the spaces of the plantation complex and tell the forgotten histories of the people who lived there. The poster will present both technological and historical philosophical issues that are important to this kind of digital project. The team is grappling with ethical and technological issues simultaneously as we seek to represent the physical plantation that was part of a system of racialized hegemony in the United States. The project lies, therefore, at the intersection of race, visualization, and the spatial humanities. The Uncle Sam Plantation was a historic sugar plantation located near Convent in St. James Parish, Louisiana. Once one of the most intact plantation complexes in the southern United States, the site was raised in 1940 to make room for a river levee. Before this was done, however, the Historic American Building Survey made elevations, floor plans, and photographs of several buildings on the site. The Grinnell College Immersive Experiences Lab will rely on this documentation to create an immersive virtual reality experience that will recreate the spaces of the plantation complex and tell the forgotten histories of the people who lived there. The poster will present both technological and historical philosophical issues
that are important to this kind of digital project. The team is grappling with ethical and technological issues simultaneously as we seek to represent the physical plantation that was part of a system of racialized hegemony in the United States. The project lies, therefore, at the intersection of race, visualization, and the spatial humanities.